this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Bloodmon 14 here. Oh, and we have new mail. Uh, so last episode we, um, we found uh, more information about the thief that they had blonde hair and then uh, Joey was attacked in a warehouse and we went to see what's up, what's what, and we found Bandit Keith there, and we challenged him. Uh, but Bandit Keith said he didn't steal the prize? Mm, I don't know, maybe he was lying. But anyway, after that, uh, Seto Kaiba came in our room and um, gave us upgrade parts for our dual disc. So, today's episode, we're going to try to use the upgrade parts like uh, Kaiba suggested and try to find the thief with our own hands. Because Kaiba was like, I I'm pretty sure the thief's a duelist, you know, so... Yeah, let's see if we can find it. Ah, so the new mail is Duelist Search 2. Your dual disc has a new feature. No, can you now find opponents more easily with Duelist Search? But your dual disc will also display your opponent's strength. Awesome. So, just a little more information about the upgrade. Alright, well anyway, let's go outside here. And, uh, yeah, with that, the Infinite Shadow game glitch is over. Let's see if we can find someone to duel. There's someone new right there. It's Taya right there. And who else is out right now? Uh, Serenity. Okay. That's probably everyone. Um, so let's go ahead and duel um, this first person. I think um, in this episode... Oh, it's Yugi. Okay. I'm surprised we don't have him registered yet, but... Hi, Flood. I used the search function on the radar and found you. It's been a while since we do it. Yeah, it has, you get has. How about it? Sure, buddy. Um I think in this episode, Magic Darkness, huh? Yeah, I think um uh I'm not gonna do too many duels in this episode. Uh, I think maybe I'll just do this one against Yugi. And then we should be able to buy some new packs today. Uh so yeah, I think we'll do that. I think I'll do just like, um, yeah, one duel here, and uh, let's remove, let's remove Pot of Greed. Yeah, I think I'll just do this one duel here, and then for the rest of the episode, we'll start opening some more packs. So, yeah, that sounds good. What you got, Yugi? Gazelle, huh? Alright, we'll go back to max speed. There we go. I got pretty good luck with Giant Germ. Uh, seems like I almost always have it in my opening hand. I mean, I mean, which is, and only one, and only one. That's, yeah, it kind of sucks when you have two Giant Germ in your opening hand, but uh, honestly, I, my luck with Giant Germ is pretty good in this game. I like it. So. But yeah, you definitely never want to draw all three in your starting hand. That, that just sucks. <laughs> Alright, one turn on capsule. No traps, Yugi. I'm kind of surprised. Normally, Yugi will always set, like, a uh, spellbinding circle or, you know, something. He'll, he'll have something back there, so. Alright, Morse Raider. A tick. Alright. But man, yes. Yeah, I, I love the event music for uh, for searching for your prize. Like, oh man, the music last episode was just so epic. It's just like dun 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 dun. Oh man, this game has some really good music, and really the story overall is pretty good too. So. Two gazelles, huh? Well, good thing he hasn't. I'm, I'm sure he has like the pieces for Chimera. Uh, lucky for us, it seems like he hasn't drawn polymerization yet, though. So that's good. That's really good. All right, take your damage, you need for my giant gem. No face downs again. Wow. All right. All right. We'll get the card from the capsule. There we go. And we'll play Foolish Burial first here. I think I'll send Sinister Serpent, and then I'll play Pot of Greed. So we don't want to draw Sinister Serpent. We want it in the graveyard. There we go. All right. I activate Pot of Greed. You. Two cards. Shrink and Swords, huh? All right. 
lady. Well, I think I'll go with uh, another Borscht Raider. I don't think we can finish him this turn, so I will use a uh, Feather of Phoenix, and I'll discard Magician of Fate, add Pot of Greed to the top of my deck. <laughs> Man, Feather of the Phoenix is so good, so good, so good with that. I guess I could have waited till next turn, you know, get Sims to Sharp and back, and then use Feather of the Phoenix, but nah, you know. Gazelle. Yeah, so even if I had used Strength this turn, yeah, no, I don't think we could have uh, finished him off. Because he would have taken 70 or two more. Yeah, no. Okay. Not a problem. Take your damage, son. And no Karibos either. Yuki, what are you doing? What are you doing? You okay then, buddy? You okay? Well, I guess I'll set Shrink and end my turn. Uh, just defending, huh? Uh, he could have something with 2,000 defense, though. That is true, so... Let's see what we can do here. I will add Sinister Serpent with its own effects. Alright, let's play Pot of Greed again. Ooh, good combo here. Uh, swords will reveal whatever he's got, and Smashing Ground will take it out regardless, so... That is good. Let's see. It was a 2,000 point defender. Ah, pretty good, Yugi. Pretty good, but not good enough. Smashing Ground, take it out. There we go. And I don't think I need to summon anything else, so let's just attack. Yeah, I guess I should have attacked Summon Sinister Serpent and gone for exact zero there, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. You win! Alright, what time are we at? Uh, only seven and a half minutes? Okay, well... Wow, you're getting stronger and stronger. I better keep practicing or I'll never win again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you better. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Let me see who all falls out right now. Ten. Oh, someone that... Oh, and by the way, at this point, after you've gotten the radar, if you see a dot and they don't have a star, then they're not a duelist. They're just an NPC. Just so you know. So. Alright. Who's this? Alright, there's someone there. One star. Serenity. Okay. Uh, let's go fight whoever this is. Oh, Yugi again. Okay. No problem. Rematch. Final destination. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just said that, Yugi. Let's duel. Let's duel, buddy. Alright, let's do it. I will go with the paper strap. Alright, let's see if you duel better this time, Yugi. Yugi boy. Ooh, Black Lesser Soldier, first turn. Let's go. Alright, we'll go with Junama's Dark of Witch. And we'll set Robin Goblin, and that'll be it for me. Go ahead, you. What you get? Hot agree, that's a good start. I will activate Robin Goblin. Yeah. Face down, huh? Yeah, a couple traps this time. Okay. Definitely gonna be a bit of a different duel this time. Well, let's see what you're working with. Swords. Maybe I'll bait out one of your spells and traps. Oh, it's just uh, Winged Dragon, huh? Alright. I'll summon White Magical Cats. And I'll equip it, Yugi, with United We Stand. Let's put it up to 2600 if you don't have a spell or trap. Yeah, buddy. Now, he's probably got Spell Binding Circle, I'm guessing. So let's attack with Dunamis first. Ooh, magic cylinder, that's gonna hurt, yeah. But he could have made it hurt worse if he had used that on white magical hat. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So, 
Kind of a misplay, kind of a misplay, Yugi. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. What you gonna do? Gazelle in attack mode, huh? That's an odd choice, considering number one, you can't attack, and number two, you're just gonna take the damage. Uh, I don't know, maybe we can get him to use Karibo? That, that was that was strange, Yugi. That was definitely strange. Alright, take your damage. And you're gonna lose a card, too, so... That was definitely a bad decision. I mean, unless you wanted Gaia in the graveyard. I don't know, maybe you got Monster Reborn. Alright, Yugi. What you got? Now you're thinking with portals. Face down, defense mode. Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, he used Pot of Greed, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure he did. So we'll use Grave Robber next turn. Uh, for now. Take out what I know I can take out. Shut. Sin bones are <laughs> Alright. What you gonna do, Yugi? Summon Skull? Ah, I freaking called it! Now I play my Summon Skull! Summon Skull! Lightning Strike! It's definitely a very good card. Alright. Ooh, Magician of Faith is good. Because I can take back Swords if I really need to. Uh, but for now, to start, let's use Grave Robber. Yeah, I use Grave Robber to take a card from the graveyard. And I choose Pot of Greed. <laughs> now, we'll take 2,000 damage, but might be worth it. Depending on what we drew here. Ooh, we got Jinzo. Which is interesting. And we got our own Pot of Greed. Ooh, let's draw two more. <laughs> Uh, interesting, interesting. So, I've got no monsters in the graveyard, right? No, okay. So, what I think I should do here is see if I play Jinzo, that will let White Magical Hat be able to attack. So, let's sacrifice Dunamis Dark Witch. Right. Summon Jinzo. Then I have a light in the graveyard. We're gonna combo off here. So now that I have a light monster in the graveyard, I can play Feather of the Phoenix, and I will discard Spirit Reaper to take back Pot of Greed. Okay, and now let's summon the boss monster of this deck, Black Lister Soldier. Let's do it, guys. So I banish one light monster. Oh, it's happening for the first time in this LP. And I banish one dark monster, Yugi. Now I will show you the ultimate monster, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. And no, we won't activate his effect. Not yet. Not yet. Alright, battle phase time. Black Luster Soldier, attack! Nice. Take your damage, and now I can use his effect. You see, Yugi, when this monster destroys a monster in battle, it can attack once again. Oh, Black Luster Soldier, so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe this card's legal in this game, man. It's so awesome. Alright, White Magic Jukul Hat. Attack Yugi's Life Points. Alright. Gotta get rid of card there, Yugi. Because my magical hat did damage. Ooh! So he had Gaia, Curse of Dragon. Yeah, he definitely just needed polymerization. Because then he could have played uh, the Dragon Champion. Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Alright, well, we win. Alright, let's check out the points we got here. Alright, yeah. Reversal finish bonus. Max attack, max damage. Nice. 82 by battling Yumi, so that's good. You're just getting stronger and stronger. Thank you. Alright, well with that, I think we'll go to the shop here. I I'm not even going to save Scum. We're just going to go to the shop, buy some packs, to end off this episode. And I'll end it off when we get to about eh, 20 minutes or so. But for now, uh, which pack should we buy today? Hmm. Okay. Um... 67. Let's start by buying a couple of these. 
And then I'm actually gonna look at the pack list because there are some spe ooh stealth bird too. There are some specific cards I'm looking for just so I can make some different kinds of decks. Uh, Ojama King is good. Uh, let's buy another one of these. Yeah, Ojama King can block off three monster card zones, so that's always good. And you can always search them out easily with Oja Magic. So. DD Assailant, another one of those is very good. Okay. Uh, let's buy a couple of these. And then I'm going to look at the pack list. Because uh, some of the cards I'm looking for are uh, Mother Grizzly. Um, ooh, Manticore is very good. Very good. I think it's unlimited in this game, too, which could lead to a very hilarious Exodia deck from us. Um, I th yeah, I'm looking for, like, Mother Grizzly, um, Abyss Soldier, um, I'm also looking for some more Granadora. I forgot which pack we got Granadora in. And I'm also looking for more Legendary Ocean, for sure. <gasps> Oh my god, yes. I'm so glad we opened this fact. One of my favorite flood cards, guys. Check this out. Tribe Infected Virus. Heck yeah. So, its effect, Aqua. 1600 attack, 1000 defense. Uh, discard one card and declare one type of monster. Just destroy all face of monsters of the declared type. You may notice a lack of once per turn on this card, which makes this card very good. Uh, one of my favorite flood cards. Awesome, awesome. Very glad we got that card. Okay, so let's look at the card list. Uh, yeah, see which one has flood cards. I think maybe it's this one. Let's see here. Humanoid Slime, Idol, Chimera. Serpentine Princess is pretty beefy on defense. Chain Energy. Um, let's see. I don't see a legendary ocean in this pack. Maybe it's this one? No, I don't think it's in this one either. Uh, legendary fisherman's here. Relinquish. Ooh, called the haunted would be good. So maybe we will open the, the relinquish pack. Uh, let's see. Legendary history. Maybe it's an earlier pack. Maybe it's Flight to New World? No. Uh, Broken Sea? I don't think it'd be in here. Um, which one has a legendary ocean? Uh, oh, maybe it's one I don't have the list for yet. That could be it. Could be it. Uh, what's in here? Beta, Alpha. Don't really need those. About carry on. Um, okay, so maybe we'll open the relinquished one. Magician Soul. I doubt it's in here. Uh, oh, premature burial would be good. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll open Magician Soul. Confiscation. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely open Magician Soul. Tricky Tunes, Vampire Lord, um, okay, well, I guess we'll open, ooh, Magic Cylinder, wow, well, I guess we'll open Magician Soul and Curse Darkness, yeah, and we'll just open a few of each pack, let's see, yeah, Magician Soul and Curse Darkness, okay. I guess I'll look up what pack a legendary ocean comes up and some of those flood cards I'm looking up I'm looking for I guess I'll look it up in between episodes prohibition it's not bad let's see so we're looking for call the haunted out of this one and so magician's soul is what we'll open up next we'll open up like three or four of each pack Ooh, widespread ruin it ain't bad yet uh, when it attacks declared destroy one monster with the highest attack. Pretty good. But if nothing else today, at least we got Tribe Infecting Virus. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like, that's a killer flood card. Oh, Legendary Fisherman. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. One more. One more. Let's see if we can get that Call of the Haunted. Because that would be really good. Okay. 
Panther Warrior. Okay, okay, we'll take it. All right, so we'll do Magician Soul next. See if we can get the Magic Cylinder or the Premature Burial. I forget which one was in this pack. Barrel Dragon, that's good. Also, Masquerade Restrict is pretty good. All right, a couple more packs, guys, and that'll be the end of the episode. Jar 2, all right. Let's open this. Ooh, Blastphere. Wait, Blastphere is a common in this pack? Holy crap. Yeah, this pack's good, yeah. Blastphere is a really good card. Wow, it's hard to believe Blastphere is a common. I mean, that card's effect is just so good. Man. All right, yeah, we got another one. Good, good. I'll take as many of those as possible. Dark Magician Girl. Nice, nice. All right, and we'll open just one more, and that'll be it. Let's see, Dark Magic Attack. Mirror Wall. Hmm. Well, looks like we didn't find the... Oh, well, whoops. Well, I didn't mean to click that, but... Oh, well. Looks like we didn't find the Premature Burial or the Call of the Haunted, but... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad I accidentally clicked on this one. Confiscation. Yeah, check this out. Uh, pay a thousand life points. Look at your opponent's hand. Select one card among them and discard it to the graveyard. Hmm, that's pretty good. I think the Link with Duo is just a little bit better, but honestly, Confiscation, well, the hand knowledge is really what you're paying for if you use it over the Link with Duo. Uh, let's see if Confiscation's banned. I'm just curious. Because I'm pretty sure Tribe is not banned. Tribe infecting virus. Let's just look real quick. Confiscation. Is it banned? It is banned. Okay, okay. That's funny. That That's... Honestly, I think Delinquent Duo is better, but it's funny that Confiscation is banned, but Delinquent Duo is not. That's, that is an interesting decision, I will, to say the least. Uh, Tribe Infecting Virus, where art thou? Where art thou? Tribe, T, 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 T. So I'm pretty sure Tribe's not banned. Let's see. T, R should be here soon. There it is. Yeah, yeah, it's at one. So yeah, we'll definitely add that to the deck for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll save to that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all enjoy. And in the next episode, uh, we will continue to search for the duelist who stole our price. All right. Thank you guys, and I will see you all next time. All right, have a good day. Do 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 do.